check the description box below for tabs and backing tracks on my website, information about exactly what sound tools I'm using, and all the links like to my True Fire courses, which I have a new one out all about improv, and the cage system, and other stuff. Here we go. We're in F. And the principle I'd like to illustrate with this is that, like, yeah, if you have a little lick that there's always five ways to play it. That's the idea. So I was like, well, let's take a nice classic melody, Sonny, uh, yeah, Sonny and Cher. The beat goes on. So it's in F. So the layers we're seeing here is I'm like, well, first layer that I see is this F chord. And then I see the F major pentatonic. And then, you know, if I'm good at that, that means I can find the F mixolydian, which is what this song is in. Part of Mixolydian March. If you don't know what a Mixolydian scale is, it's just a major scale whoosht, with a flat seven. Such a cool scale. So that met that first spot there, position one, E-shaped F chord. I'm not gonna call out the frets. I think you can see what I'm doing. There's the first little uh, two phrases. The beat goes on. The beat goes on. And now, the next section of melody, I went up to the next version of F. The D-shaped F. Yeah, nobody loves this. I don't love it. Usually I tell people to just do that. That's the next layer that I'm seeing. And then I'm like, well, where's the major pentatonic? Okay, then where's the mixolydian? All right, now where's the Sonny and Cher melody? So it leaves it there, but let's look. Okay, so there we are on this E flat, this fourth fret note. Yeah, there's a little slide at the end. Now notice the slow vibrato at the end of that five to seven on the D. One more time. I really recommend trying to keep your vibrato slow. I know this, that's like a default setting for a lot of people. I think it's cool to go slow. Now, la di da di di la di da di da So that's now out of the third spot to find things. The C-shaped F. Eighth fret, pinky. And again, little detour. When you have a pinky lead uh, chord voicing, you know, you have to straighten up. You know, if your hand's like this, blues style, it's a lot harder to get it. So sometimes you have to flip around and get, the, get a lot of air under there and get it real straight up and down. Let's see. La da 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 di. La da 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 da. One more time. So there's the structure. Oh, here's major pentatonic. Mixolydian. Neat. So that's the third place we can play things. Now, the next place, the fourth place we can play things, the F up here. Yeah, this whole thing just drones on F, so it's perfect for this uh, example. A, you can see which one that is. That's our A-shaped F. Let's see, where's major pentatonic? And then mixolydian. All right, where's the melody now? Drums, key, I kept on, yeah, I would leave position a little bit to do some of those slides that vocally they do. Again, eighth fret. So that's a tricky one because it goes, you know, however you want to get that. Always coming back to that, though, that five to seven. And then it jumps up the octave. 
and you could argue that now I'm at the final, oh, actually, yeah, penultimate location, the fifth location. There's This is another F chord, the G-shaped F. And yeah, you can see up high, that's hard to get. Again, hands straight up and down. Maybe let's talk about doing it that way. Where's major pentatonic? Mixolydian. That's how it all works. Layers, 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 layers. And let's see. Yeah, that's a little shares melody there up on, up on that 10. Yeah, it does leave position there. And then Sonny's response to that is, yeah, still out of that, that location there. do a little walk because then I'm back back around again to, to F mixolydian way up here F major pentatonic mixolydian and so yeah Now, sometimes I'll get that, that extra little, that pretty little F up there. And then the bonus round. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can do that on fenders because they have the straight headstock with a lot of pit uh, room to push the string down. So I come back around to that first melody. But I know that, yeah, B's not the right note. But C is, so you can push that B string down. To get that cool trick there. When you learn a little lick. Cool, right? Yeah, keep, keep them small and simple. This is what I say to do, to take it to the other locations where it might show up. Let's see. Cool. Neat. Neat. Because that's how you start to really know how much command you have of the fretboard. How much you really understand what's going on. That, that like you see that like, oh, things just kind of repeat because of the stupid tuning of the instrument, it doesn't, it's not like a piano where it's obvious how they repeat. It's like glick, 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 glick. And so for me, everything is always those chord shapes first. That's why go to my website, The Caged Courses. I, I, that's why I make them because I really, for rock guitar, it really comes back to that stuff. And the other third little useful layer to this is that the idea that, you know, learning vocal melodies is a very cool thing to do on this instrument because it shows us, well, A, as a guitar player for your solos and, and things like that, how melodies actually look. Um, and as a composer, how melodies actually look because guitar licks are cool, you know. Like, that's cool, but that's super guitar-y. You know, it's so educational to learn vocal melodies. Thanks so much to everybody who supports me in all the ways that you do, even if it's just clicking like and subscribe. Keeps me in business with the algorithm relevancy, as Bill and Ted would say, be excellent to each other. That includes yourself. Happy Friday. Eat pizza.